free vibration analysis of a solid beam. This tutorial explains how to generate brick elements and how to perform modal analysis using FEAST. The beam is having a height of 500 mm with a cross section of 100 by 100 mm. The material properties are Young's modulus 200 GPA, Poisson's ratio 0 0.3 and density 7800 kg per meter cube. The beam is fixed at the bottom. For creating the brick element, first you have to create the shell element and you have to extrude it. For creating the shell element, you need a surface. For that, you need two key points. So first create the key point. For that, go to key point. Create a key point by XYZ. Create a key point at 0, 0, 0 and 100, 100, 0. Click apply. Two key points will be created. Now you have to create the surface for that. Go to create a surface rectangle 2P. Click snap to point option. Select the two corner points. The surface will be created. Now you have to mesh the surface. For that go to generate FE mesh. Quad. Click on the surface. Enter the initial size as 10. Click on divisions. Adjust the divisions to 10. On each side. And select method as mapped. Click apply. The mesh will be generated. Now you have to extrude this mesh. Before that go to erase surface. Click on the surface. The surface will be erased. Now go to mesh element create extrude select all the elements under the extrude vector as 0 0 500 and the number of segments to be created as 50 under the angle value as 180 and pick the reference point as center of the mesh for that select snap to node option select the center of the mesh click apply before clicking apply rotate the view so that you can see the mesh is generated properly click apply the mesh will be created Click fit to window option. The correct view of the mesh will be seen on the window. Rotate the view. Go to show. Untick the node. It will erase the nodes from the window. Click fill. It will fill the mesh. Go to left view, we can align the mesh in different angle. Go to load boundary condition. Click ISO face, pick a face. All the nodes on the face will be selected. You have to select the nodes at the bottom of the beam. Click ISO face. Select the bottom face. All the nodes on the bottom face will be selected. Arrest UX UI user degrees of freedom. Click apply. Go to left view. Go to property material isotropic add. Select all or select active. All the active elements will be selected. Go to material data. Enter the modulus of velocity as 200,000 and Poisson's ratio as 0.3 and the density value as. 7.80 minus 9, which is 7800 kg per meter cube. Material property will be assigned. Now go to analysis, analysis type. Select analysis type as free vibration, click apply. Go to analysis, free vibration. Set analysis, analysis option. Set the analysis option as Lang's source. Click apply, go to free vibration, general add, enter the number of modes as 20, 
there are two methods number of modes and frequency range in frequency range method you can enter the start frequency and end frequency and in number of modes method you can directly enter the number of modes which is required in the output enter the number of modes as 20 select mass option as lamp and click apply If you go to edit menu, you can see properties that we have assigned, analysis type, displacement constraint and if you click on the corresponding sets, it will be highlighted. You can edit the value if you want from the material data box, displacement constraint box, etc. Save the model. Confirm S. You can see the running status on the bottom right corner. After successful completion, it will show finished successfully. and it will show the elapsed time also go to post view results select frequency click apply it will show the frequencies the 20 modes it will display click close go to post You can select all the data and copy it and you can save it in some file format that is in excel sheet or in text format. Go to deformed shape, select first mode. Click animate deflection. It will show the animation of the first mode. Select third mode. It will display the animation for the third mode. Now go to contour. For the first mode, it will display the contour for the first mode. If you select another mode, it will display the contour for that mode. Click animate deflection, it will show the contour along with animation. Highlight maximum, highlight minimum are also available for this case. Click exit post view, it will take you out from the post processor.